What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I am back to pop my sh again. See, I am in my new freaking car. I insert clips of like the process a little bit or whatever. If you are new to this channel, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like this video, leave some comments, and yeah, you know, we lit over here. If you are returning subscriber, gang, 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 what's up? What's up? What's goodie? What's up? I know y'all miss me, okay? <laughs> Make sure you guys follow me at my socials. They'll be linked here or here. Follow me on Instagram at jdayshell. And on Twitter at jdayshell. And on Snapchat at jxoxoxo. Okay, you guys. So, really, really quickly. As you can see, I'm dressed in my all black. About to go to work. is on i have no idea I'm trying to still learn this car read the title so you know what this video is going to be about um today i'm just going to be kind of talking to you guys and just venting to you guys to let you guys know you know pretty much what's been going on and everything so as you can see i bought a new car yesterday today is june 25th um i got this car on june 24th i actually been technically bought this car a couple weeks ago i just woke up and was like hey i want a car and i went to fucking carmax and i seen some cars but this particular car stood out to me it is a kia optima um however this one was up north somewhere and it had to get shipped here so that's why i'm just now getting it um i've been had it for a couple weeks now but obviously i have to wait to get shipped here yeah i am just blessed i am overwhelmed and i just kind of want to talk to you guys whatever i wish i could talk and drive because i actually need to be on my way to work but i'm gonna just give you guys a brief summary on why i got a new car so as you guys know um last year i bought me a car i bought a cash car uh, from this guy last summer and um yeah i bought a car by myself um it that video went up you guys seen it it was a decorate my car with me video that video went up y'all like i'm gonna insert it in the description box below i'll put it up here and i'll like like a little screenshot but yeah i decorated my car with you guys and you guys long story short you guys i do not have i no longer have that car have that car i actually haven't had that car like i bought that car last summer in july july 2020 i gave the car back to the man to fix it in august 2020 and i haven't seen the car since so um yeah i don't want to speak too much about it that's just a brief synopsis i don't want to speak too much about it because i am legally taking care of this situation um it's ongoing right now so i'm not going to speak too much about it but i don't have i didn't have my car and i still don't have my money that i spent on the car so you guys have to only imagine how depressed i was so that's the reason why that's the real reason why i wasn't filming and i wasn't just active on my social media is because i was depressed i was so I was feeling so up i felt so accomplished when i had bought that car and for it to be taken away from me like that i felt like i had failed i felt like i made a mistake like i said i don't want to go too too in details um about the car but just know i really i only drove that car for like a week 
gave it back didn't see the car since and um you know legally take care of i don't have my money back from the car so the money that i spent to buy this car was all grind all hustle like i got me two jobs as y'all know and i saved and worked my ass off so i don't care what nobody say i don't give a fuck i deserve this car i don't care i deserve it i deserve it really lost that car and i was just like what and the crazy part about it was when i lost that car it was up to me to get myself another one. I don't have nobody else to fall back on. I don't have, you know, um, not gonna say I don't have my parents, but my parents wasn't gonna buy me a new car. Uh, I don't have a nigga with money to, you know, buy, buy me a car or whatever the case is. But I had to get out here and grind on my own and hustle to get this car. So I don't even fuck with nobody say I deserve this car. I am blessed beyond measures. Blessed, blessed. Like I said, I don't have the last car and I don't have the money from the last car. But for me to even just be able to get this is just so, so amazing. And it's so funny to me because when I bought that car and I did the video on it, I, I expected that video to do numbers but not shoot up how we did. And so it did some numbers. The comments under that video is what really moved me. Like people were saying like oh i can't wait to uh, start saving for me a car you inspired me because y'all know how i was telling you i was taking ubers and lifts back and forth to work and stuff like that when i was living in atlanta by myself so i was going back and forth to work you know couldn't really get around how i wanted to get around and that's the whole thing like it was never about the car because obviously they didn't start making cars when they made that one that i bought last summer but it was about the amount of time and the amount of money. Well, about the yeah, about the time and amount of money that I spent to actually get that car. I was so freaking hurt. I was so depressed. And so, when I was reading the comments on that video, and you guys were telling me how y'all were inspired by me, that is when I knew my true life my true life purpose my purpose in this life is to inspire that's the reason why i'm gonna go so hard with these videos and i want to be the voice for the girls and the women because it's older women that was under that video too that saying that they um you know was looking up to me as well i want to be the voice for girls who feel as if they're back against the wall and you feel like you can't do it baby if i could do it you can do it and that's period and I hustle my ass off, y'all. When I say I don't have a co-signer on this car, um, nobody helped me put money down on this car. Mind you, I had to pay a shipping fee, <laughs> a pretty, a pretty healthy shipping fee to even get the car to Tennessee, which is where I am now. Um, had to put the down payment on the car, had to pay for insurance. I did all that by myself, and I am grateful. I am blessed. I get my ass up every day to go to these two jobs to go work every fucking day. So I deserve this shit. I am about to enjoy it. I don't mean to cuss y'all. I'm getting teary eyed. It. But y'all, I'm just blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed beyond measures. Um, But yeah, I just want to kind of just give you guys a quick rundown because I don't know. Nobody said anything like, you know, but I know it's probably like some questions like, damn, didn't you just buy a car last summer? Yeah, I did, but shit happens. It's a learning experience for me. Like I said, I'm not going to go too much in details on why I, you know, gave the car back or whatever. Um... I that's that'll be another story time. I only want to think about that right now. Right now, I just want to enjoy my new car. I am blessed. Um, like I said, I still don't have the money from the other car, which is so annoying. I'm so ready for this court process to get to get over. Cause y'all, it's been about a year since I've been dealing with this. I bought the car last July. It's the end of June, about to be July. I've been dealing with this situation, this car situation for a fucking year. And this shit broke me. It broke me because I felt like I didn't have nobody to, to depend on, and I didn't. But you know, I had to pray. I had to manifest. I had to get up. And I had to work for it. And I did. And I did. And, you know, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Like, <laughs> I'm freaking blessed. Like, not too many people my age can even say that. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying not to cry because I got this makeup on. Not too many people my age could say they have a car in their name only. Um, You know, I'm, I'm blessed. And for me to even do this, you know, without even... 
receiving you know any help for anybody i still but i still ain't got the money from the other car so but i got this car off straight ground off straight hustle hustle i would i sat my ass down i didn't post pictures on instagram for five to six months I wasn't posting on Instagram. I wasn't buying clothes. I wasn't buying weave. I, I wasn't getting my nails done. I just said, you know what? I'm going to save up. And really, at the time when I started saving, I really didn't even know what I was saving for. It was like something was telling me, like, girl, just save. Save all this money. Save all this money. As y'all know, I serve at both of my jobs. So I'm putting my tips aside every night. Every night I'm putting my tips aside. I go to work, put my tips up. Go to work, put my tips up. And that shit added up like for real <laughs> that shit added up and i'm blessed you know in the midst of everything that's been happening i have been you know like i said losing relationships with people i have been you know discovering things about myself um i'm just going through this whole change and this whole new awakening and i am excited for it i'm excited for this journey and i am so excited that i get to bring you guys with me because this is why i do youtube i do youtube to document but now when remember on the last video i was telling y'all what i you know really really want to use my youtube for i want to use it to inspire which is why i started doing youtube i remember when i first started doing youtube in high school people would say why don't you just film stuff that people want to see bitch this is my channel if I want to film about my life, I'm filming about my life, period. So, that's all I got to say right now, y'all, because I am running late. But I did want to let you guys know that if you did tell me thank you, because I did announce it on Instagram. I actually wasn't going to post that I got a new car on Instagram. I was just going to pop out like how I did the last one and just put it on YouTube. But I was like, you know what, people going to watch the video if they want to watch it regardless. So... Yes, I have a new car. I'm grateful. And, um, what I was about to say? To say. You did tell me congratulations on getting my car. I want to thank you and, and I appreciate it because I didn't even expect y'all when I posted that boomerang of my car. So many people were in my DMs blowing me up. Congratulations, congratulations. People I didn't even, you know, think even cared enough to even tell me congratulations on something like that. So it's amazing. Um, but yeah. And I feel so grown. I feel so accomplished. Like, I'm 21 now. I got a car in my name. I got big girl bills now. So, I feel so grown. So, I I feel accomplished. So, that's all I can say. But, anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and hit the work because it's 545 and I'm hella late. And I'm going to stop and go <laughs> give me a Red Bull, bitch, because I'm tired as fuck, <laughs> honestly. I really don't know why this light is on, like... I feel like my grandma didn't close her door all the way when she was, I don't know. Let me try this again. Okay, so I'm going to see y'all when I get to work. What's popping? <laughs> um, oh, that's sunlight though, okay, period. So, um, I apologize for the angling or whatever. I just had to make it do what it do. Because, you know, your girl don't have my car accessories in this car because of what previously what previously happened to my last car um like i said i think i already gave y'all the rundown on what the fuck happened to my last car i don't think i spoke too much on it but um i will give you guys the full rundown in a whole separate video about what happened to the last car or whatever and y'all like literally all the accessories i bought for the car are gone that's all i want to say the only thing i was able to save was this lovely lovely steering wheel um so yeah but other than that i have to make do with do as far as the little tripod thingy but that's neither here nor there good day good day good vibes only today is tuesday june 29th so close to y'all now like i don't know now that like my channel is like growing and i'm starting to get like a sense of what i want to do and everything like i just feel so much more confident and filming like i feel like you guys are my friends i feel like we are here first of all getting to this lace note jt shit period okay <laughs> Okay, um, anyways, like I was saying, you guys, I'm on the way to work. This is, sadly, this is my last day being a bottle girl at this fucking club. Like, it's just, oh my god, this, I hate when, like, one of your lash hairs is, like, sticking. I'm gonna try to ignore it for the sake of this video. But, um, yeah, so, this is my last day at this club, or whatever, being a bottle girl at this club. Um, I've been working there since, what, 420, so that's 
a little bit of April, May, June. Learned a lot about, you know, working in the club. Learned a lot about bottle service, bottle. I'm going to just have to hold this shit. But anyway, y'all, I can't really tell y'all why it's my last day at this club. I'm not going to tell y'all yet, but y'all will find out sooner or later. But, yes, yeah, it's my last day at this club. Um, Like I said, one reason I'm not going to speak on right now. The second reason is um, it's just been a lot of behind-the-scenes bullshit going on. And that's the reason why I wasn't, like, really, really filming and really, really vlogging while I was there. And that's the reason why I just stopped vlogging while I was there all together. But I said, fuck this shit. This is my last day. I'm going to vlog for you guys. You know, add some footage to, you know, me buying the car vlog. It's my last day. No, I did not get fired. Um, and no, I'm really not even quitting, honestly. Um, but, you know, it's just a lot of shit. And, um, yeah, I don't know how today's gonna go because we have been slow at this club. Or, it ain't, first of all, it's not even a fucking club. It's a restaurant and lounge. They just turn this bitch to the club. But it's not a club. And, um, what I was about to say. <sighs> yeah, so... I don't know what the fuck I was going to say. Well, we've been slow for like the last two weeks. So, I don't know how today's going to go. But I'm going to hope I can come home with some money. Since, you know, it's my fucking last day or whatever. So, yeah. I'm just excited, though. Like, I'm not even mad that it's my last day here. I'm not mad about shit. Like, y'all going to see why I'm so happy. And why I'm just... Like, I think y'all already know I'm happy because I fucking bought my ass a new car. Period. Big girl shit. Yeah, you know how I go get into it. Yeah. And it's just like I'm really doing shit. I'm really getting back to myself. And I'm so, uh, I'm I'm blessed. I'm appreciative of you guys and everything else. Like, it's amazing. But, um, oh, we're going to pop up. Let me put the phone down, Chad. Let me put the phone down because, baby, I ain't got time. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to be pulling up in just a second. Guys, later. And I'm going to see y'all guys. I'm going to see you guys when I get there. First of all, I'm fucking cute right now. I'm so sick of this damn wig, though. That's one thing I will say. I'm so fucking tired of this fucking wig on my damn head. Like, y'all, my wig is somewhere else right now. And it's like, I cannot wait to get to it because... <sighs> if you know me, then you know I hate wearing the same hairstyle for like a long period of time. And I've had this hairstyle, well, this wig on for like a month. Which is still lasting, bitch. I think I did a good job. Y'all know I don't really like all that crazy ass baby hair shit. I just like my shit to look natural, okay? Like that shit. It's giving scalp. It's giving, bitch, this your hair. It's giving what it's supposed to give. And this the song. Y'all only want to turn the camera off. But I'm about to because I want to listen to some music before I pull up in this bitch. Because, yeah. <laughs> I made it home before midnight on a Tuesday, which is kind of crazy, but y'all, they got to find y'all. That's the only thing I be hating about my city sometimes is because it's kind of sometimes it's like people don't go out to enjoy life. But I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I gotta put some new glass on, child, because I'm not like with my lips because I'm gonna be looking at this while I eat it. Like, girl, why y'all lips like that? We is not going to and um yeah on my last day like what 
that just was totally not expected but i'm not tripping um i feel like i did good today for it to be my last night on a tuesday so yeah i just hate that they had to have some like like why but you know it's all good it's all good today was my last day there and yeah on to bigger and better freaking things I like how I did my hair today too bad. I'm about to take this down, wash my hair real good because I'm getting my new wig this weekend. So freaking excited, but it's not here with me. It's somewhere else. So I have to wait till the weekend to get my hair done. So whatever. But like I said, I talk to y'all while I get money. So while I count my money, I'm like, why I get money. But yeah, I talk to y'all while I count this money. But I'm not doing a money count or anything like that. But you know. Yeah, your girl kind of did good, so it's a bag full of grains, okay? Yeah, y'all, I know this vlog wasn't much of nothing. Like, I know it wasn't, like, a whole lot. I know. But it's more to come. But yeah, I'm so proud of myself. Like, for the last five months, I have been working two jobs. Um, I was working. I guess I could tell y'all next. I don't work there no more. So I was working at Buffalo Wild Wings. I had worked at Hooters for like a day or two. However, the manager came back. Like I had a whole interview process, went for orientation and all that. The man came back and was like, because the real manager, the actual hiring manager, somebody else like did my interview and then somebody else was the actual hiring manager. The actual hiring manager at Hooters, he came back and was like, you know, we don't need another girl or whatever. Because they had just hired three before me. So it was real stupid. So after Hooters... Um, after that, I just went like, cause Hooters and then Buffalo, Hooters is like right here, like two lights over was a Buffalo. I mean, so I'm like, hmm, I really, really wanted to work at a sports bar type of feel because it was right. Like I said, started working at Buffalo. I was like right around Super Bowl. Like, so I got, I was at Hooters like before that. And I was like, oh, it's going to be, it's going to be Super Bowl. I want to work at a sports bar, da, 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 da. So boom, who just didn't work out? So I just went to Buffalo Wild Wings and it was still cool. Um, I made a lot of money at Buffalo Wild Wings, more than I thought I would, honestly. Um, if you're a server, this is just a quick little tip I'm gonna throw out there. If you're a server, you know, make sure you talk, know how to talk to people. You always look good because that plays a big part in your tips. So yeah, I was working at um, Buffalo Wild Wings, you know, beat ups or whatever. And yeah, I was working there every day for the longest. I started like around February, February, March, April. And then that's when I got the job. And I don't know if I want to say the name of the lounge still. Because it's like, mm, I don't know. But yeah, when I got the lounge job, it was in April. So I had been working there in April, May, June for three and a half months. So I was working at like for three and a half months. I was working both jobs. I was literally going to work every day. Every freaking day. I probably had only one off day throughout the week. So I was going to work six days a week. Sometimes even working in mornings at Buffalo. And then doing evenings at um, the lounge. Like, I'm so proud of myself. I'm such a workaholic. And that's something I take pride in. Like, I really like to go to work. I really like to make my money. I really like to say to myself, like, if you know me, then you know I am a true hustler. Like, this period. I just, I don't know. I don't, like, me sometimes... I just, I don't know. I just like to get to the bag. And I like to do it the legal way, the right way. And I'm doing right. I don't care what nobody say. Like, half the nine to five is not corny, bitch. Me and broke kids. And as I know, them two actually wasn't my only strength of income. So I was actually, basically had three jobs because I was still doing YouTube for you guys. So I had three jobs. So yeah, fuck that. Because, bitch, I got to turn in my taxes for YouTube, bitch. So yeah, I was working three jobs. And yeah, and I'm just proud of myself. I was able to get myself a car. And like I said, I got another big announcement coming up um this week or next week or whichever one but um yeah i'm gonna count this money period and i thank you guys for watching this video like i said i know this vlog wasn't too much of nothing like y'all just kind of seen me buy a car and i think i talked about it and then y'all seen me go to work yeah not too much of nothing i kind of want to continue after the vlog in the morning Maybe. Make sure you guys stay tuned because I promise y'all you do not want to miss what's coming next for me or this channel. And 
yeah subscribe if you want to subscribe like share and comment and yeah i'll see y'all in the next one if this is in the vlog if not see y'all in the morning or whenever i see y'all